Hey everyone, it's Bonnie. I'm going to start showing my second installment of my makeup collection series. I was unable to pick it up after that one time because I'd fallen sick and could not talk for quite some time. But I am better now. And like I want to remind everybody that this is not me boasting. I'm just sharing with you my makeup collection. And this time I'm going to be showing you my highlighter stash. Most of these come from BoxyCharm. It's a $21 monthly makeup subscription that can easily build up your makeup collection. And as always, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, as well as the little bell next to it. Hit the like button if you like these types of videos. And comment down below and let me know what your favorite highlighter is. And now on to my highlighter collection. And here is my highlighter collection all bunched together. I got some low end drugstore as well as some high-end and some creams and some powders. Now I'm going to get these out of the way. These are LA colors. I got these at the Dollar Tree. I was kind of underwhelmed but some of them were pretty but I was kind of underwhelmed about them. When I see these I thought the pants were bigger when I see them in people's hauls. I mean they are very pretty as you can see. That was my favorite one. It's kind of got like a sheen to it. I was kind of underwhelmed by these because I thought they were going to be bigger. What I mean by that is here are some of the eyeshadow palettes I've gotten and they look similar, pretty much the same just in highlighter shades and I was kind of underwhelmed about that. Now I was going to wait to show you this because I'm going to show it in like the palettes but I picked this up recently, it's new by CoverGirl, the Peach Punch and I'm just going to show you the highlighter for now but this has been my go-to highlighter here lately and this little blush contour and highlight palettes 988 at Walmart this packs a punch and it's very subtle but very pretty now this next one I do believe is a classic at the drugstore and it's by elf it has a very nice mirror on it and then you got your two uh, light highlights and then you got your darker highlighter shades this is very pretty you know inexpensive six dollars I believe and this here is the naked cosmetics I got this in boxy charm very pretty packaging, uh, doesn't have a mirror, and their pans are pretty small. Pretty shades, but I like these better as eyeshadows, but since it was a highlighter palette, I figured I'd show you. Now this is the Aurora palette by Anastasia. I got this at TJ Maxx for $24.99. This doesn't have a mirror either. Um, it's pretty much almost like the one I just showed you, and I was excited to get this, but I was kind of eh about it. I was just a little underwhelmed by Anastasia. I'm not so into her glow kits. And here, this is a very good one. This is by Paradise. This is Paradise by Bad Habit. This is from that Hush app. And I think this will do for the Huda Beauty. And this corner shade here is a cream, and then the rest of them are a powder shade. Here's my Jeffree Star one. This was the Manny MUA and Jeffree collab, and it's Eclipse. And it does have a nice mirror on it. Very huge pan. Very pretty. Then we're going to go ahead and go into the drugstore. And here I got three of the Wet n Wild ones. This one here is Blossom Blow. Very pretty. This was a limited edition. A lilac. And then this one was also a limited edition, the Skulls. Hard Candy, this is like a dupe for the Benefit ones. It's okay, it's not the best, but it's pretty. Very subtle. Then this is one of my very, very first ones I got, which is by Hard Candy. And it's like a white and the pink, and you can mix them together. Wet n Wild Illuminator. Elf Baked Highlighter. Then we have a Cult Classic, the Essence Pure Nude. They recently come out with a new shade that I really want to try, but this is very, very pretty. And this one's Be My Highlight. Then we have the Revolution Makeup Revolution Triple Baked Highlighter and Goddess of Faith. This here is supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced little heart shaped ones. This is one of the first ones I've ever gotten as well. Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. 
This here, if you press really hard, it does come into like a cream consistency, but you can get it to be a powder consistency as long as you don't press too hard. This is kind of too dark for my skin tone. Then I have the Cr Master Chromes by Maybelline. I didn't get the first shade because it was um, too deep for my skin tone, but I got the Rose Gold and the Holographic. Here's Physician's Formula. I got this on clearance at Walmart. This was actually very pretty for like your everyday go to work kind of glow. Very pretty. Here's the Ame eyeshadow quad that I got in the $10 uh, Walmart beauty box. I actually just swirl this together and it comes out to be a pretty highlight. Then here's the L'Oreal Lumi highlights. This is the loose pigments. Very pigmented. It kind of reminds me of the, like, the Artist Couture without a little bit less of the glitter. Then here is the CoverGirl Vitalist Glow and number three. This is like a cream consistency. It comes in a little pot. And it's kind of underwhelmed about it. It's okay though. Next we're going to move on to the... I'm going to start off with my two Becca highlights. This is a full size of Prosecco Pop. It comes with a full size mirror and it's very pretty. And then this is a smaller one in Champagne Pop. This is one of my favorites. And this is in Champagne Pop. This is my favorite of the two. And it comes with a mirror, surprisingly, for that little thing. Here's the Ofer one that we got in BoxyCharm. And the full-size Becca I got in BoxyCharm as well. And this one here is in Rodeo Drive called Classic Tarte. Then I have the Winky Lux. This one's like a duo cream, like a bluey pink. And when I have them like off the wall type of eyeshadow looks, I like to use this. I try to give you a little swatch, but it doesn't do it justice. Luna, I got this in, this is an Electra. I got this in um, Ipsy. And that's what it looks like. It's a pinky color. I haven't really tried it out. Mary Luminizer, I heard that this was a cult classic a while ago. I got this in my Ipsy as well. Then here's the Artist Couture and Illuminati. This here is what I was saying that is the more higher end of the L'Oreal one. And it has a nice little sifter in it. I like this one too and I like putting this on the, uh, my brow bone and then blending it out. Very good for that. And inner corner. Then my Anastas Anastasia Beverly Hills and Marisi du um, duo. This here is such a pretty sheen. It could work on most skin types. I really love this one. It was a good buy. And then here we're getting into the creams and whatnot. Which the one I forgot right here, I forgot to uh, show you, which is a cream, but it's in stick form. Which I noticed this here is a Cover FX Enhanced Click and Candlelight. I noticed that I didn't even actually touch this. So I got this in my BoxyCharm, the um, points. I redeemed my points. And I just noticed that I didn't even use it, so I might use that in a giveaway. Temp 2 by BoxyCharm. Got this one in BoxyCharm. I like adding this into my foundation. And then this I got an Ipsy by Trust Fund Beauty. And then this one here is uh, Wet n Wild. And Halo Goodbye. Then these two I bought off of Amazon a real long time ago. Uh, it's called Glam Rock. This one here is Silver. And then it's in shade number one. And this one's kind of like a pinkish, silver, number two. And then here we got this in BoxyCharm, the TARDIS Pro Glow. And this is in Sparkler. This one's kind of too dark for my skin tone, but as I get a, you know, darker, I could mix it in my foundation. Here is a Benefit um, Double Up and Glow. I got this for $7.50, it was originally $10, and then I got it for $7.50, it was like a discount or something going on. Now this, it's like a brush applicator, 
this I have to swatch this for you because this these two are so awesome neither one of them are too dark and they blend out like a dream they blend out on top of foundation this is the only cream highlighter that I've been able to find or liquid highlighter that I've been able to find that blends effortlessly without taking foundation off I don't know if this picture does it justice so yeah, that is the second video to my makeup collection series. Again, this is not me boasting or anything. It's just me sharing my makeup collection with you. I'm not for sure what my third video is going to be, but I will keep you posted. And hopefully my house cooperates with me so I can keep these up on a more regular basis. And as always, please hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Follow with that little notification bell so you can know every time that I upload. Hit the like button if you like these types of videos. And comment down below and let me know what's your favorite type of highlighter. Last but not least, my social media is listed on my outro. So make sure you take a look at that and follow me on all my social media. Bye guys. Okay.